this gentleman um, has proven to be our standout student, and that's why he is allowed to headline our class. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the headliner of the January 2011 class, Mr. Josh Koff. What's up, everybody? What's up? I hope I can live up to that uh, intro. Um, my name is Josh Kaufman. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's not a joke. Um, I recently moved down here to Atlanta, and I like Atlanta. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. A lot of famous things are from Atlanta. Uh, famous people are from also in Atlanta. Um, the first thing I would say is like CNN's in Atlanta, right? And then you got like Ray Charles is from Atlanta. Coca-Cola was invented in Atlanta. Also, black people were invented in Atlanta. <laughs> Um, Georgia, Georgia falls in like the Bible Belt, and like I don't really know if I get the Bible Belt thing. The Bible Belt's pretty weird. Uh, and like the biggest thing that I don't like about the Bible Belt is like why the belt? Why not the the Bible wallet, the Bible clutch, the Bible handbag? I don't get it. Um, I really think that uh, I think God's real. I mean, He's got to be real. I think that God is real because if God wasn't real. Who would people who score touchdowns and win Grammys think? Like they would just run out of people to think. Um, <laughs> I've been uh, I've been having a lot of sex with my girlfriend lately, and it's like it's getting pretty odd. We've been having a lot of sex, and it's it's getting to the point where she's I mean she's starting to wake up. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Um, does anybody here like high school? Anybody like high school? Yeah. All right. So nobody liked high school. Well, I fucking hated high school. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. I just get beat up all the time, all the time, and it just—it's like that's the main reason I hated being homeschooled. <laughs> um, I'm from Wisconsin, like I said before. Uh, we have a lot of fat people in Wisconsin, like a lot of fat people. And uh, when I was back home in, uh, in Wisconsin, I went to a bar with my buddy Russell, and uh, sitting at the table next to us was uh, were these fat girls. And they, were, they had all these appetizers all over the table. And uh, the bar was playing some pretty good music. And then the fat girls started singing songs about the food they were eating and putting them into the lyrics of the, the songs. So I thought it was pretty weird. And then uh, Like a G6 by Far East Movement came on, and one of the fat girls goes, like some cheese sticks in my cheese dip. Like some cheese sticks in my cheese dip. Then her friend, when uh, Teach Me How to Dougie came on, her friend's like, watch me rub my tummy, watch me, watch me rub my tummy. Watch me rub my tummy, watch me, watch me rub my tummy. All the black guys love me, all the, all the black guys love me. All the black guys love me, all the, all the black guys love me. And then sure enough, I was like, dude, this has got to be the maximum amount of food and fat people jokes that they will be able to put into these songs. And then I was wrong. Uh, the waitress turned the corner with a tray full of drinks, and one of the fat girls stood up, and she was like, oh, you know what it is. Mellow yellow, mellow yellow, mellow yellow, mellow yellow. Uh, the internet's pretty crazy today. Internet is pretty crazy. You have it at uh, the tips of your uh, fingers. Everybody's got smartphones. You can access you know, Wikipedia, Google, Facebook, YouTube, whatever you need. And a lot of people think that the internet was invented by Al Gore in like the late 1980s, and I happen to think different. I believe that the internet was invented by a guy from the 1980s who traveled in a time machine to about 2008, and when he got here, somebody introduced him to internet porn, and then a pile of crusty tube socks, one chafe wiener, and three days later, he hopped right back in that time machine, went back and invented the internet. <laughs> I, think, uh, I, think that, I think that the automobile industry is very, very pro-child molester. And the, the reason I think that is because it used to be fucking hard for these guys. I mean, you had to get a van with no windows, put a megaphone on top, play some jingles for the kids, slap some stickers and some ice cream on the side. Not anymore. Have you seen these vans today? These vans are the coolest. If you're a kid, how can you resist? They got flat screen TVs, they got video games, surround sound, a mini fridge with all your favorite drinks in them. And not to mention how easy it's for these child molesters. They got dual sliding doors, power locks, tinted windows, stow and go, and nothing helps get to waft the eight-year-old boy ass out of your car like a sunroof. Yikes. <laughs> 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 There's a... Uh, 
there's a lot of gay people in Atlanta, a lot of gay people. And uh, at my job, this, this one lady was like, about my second week, and this lady comes up to me, and she's a lesbian, and she comes up to me, and she goes, hey, Josh, you're, uh, you're family, right? I go, family? What? And she goes, you know, you're family, right? And I go, the fuck is this lady talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. She goes, you're gay, right? And I go, I didn't want to disappoint her, so I'm like, yeah, totally gay. This gayest, and so now everybody I work with thinks I'm gay, and it's really weird. Um, <laughs> back in Wisconsin, me and my friends are pretty big on gaydar, which, if you don't know, is gay person radar, so you detect who is gay and who is not. And I have like the bulletproof 100% one. And pretty much how you do it is like, if you think a guy's gay, you just you just go out to grab some drinks with him. You go back to his place, and then. You have sex with him. And if he has sex with you, then he's gay. And if he doesn't, then he's gay. Why wouldn't he have sex with you? You guys had drinks. <laughs> um, I recently uh, <laughs> I, uh, I recently got fired from my job, which is pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. I uh, got fired because I was really rude and impatient with this lady on the phone. And I started cursing at her, and, but she just kept calling about this same like, nagging problem and over and over again. And it was at the suicide hotline, and I was just like, listen, you stupid bitch. I don't care if no one fucking likes you in high school. Grow up. Either shit or get off the pot. And then I hung up. All right, uh, thanks, guys. That's my name. It's Josh Kaufman. It's my time. Y'all give it up for Josh Kaufman, ladies and gentlemen.